Here are three ways to stream on TikTok Live from any device using Restream. Get $10 off a paid plan with my affiliate link or just use the link to sign up for free. I'll put that link both on screen and in the description. But we can do most of this for free and method one uses a stream key and your web browser. You can get stream keys completely for free and these are given out by Creator Networks. I'll put my verified list of these agencies both on screen and in the description. And then once you have your free stream key, we're just going to use our web browser to stream. But firstly, check your camera and your microphone is added to Google Chrome or whatever browser you're using. Click the three dots and then to start with, click on settings. And then you want privacy and security on the left. And you want this site controls option at the bottom. And then scroll down to find camera and microphone. We'll click on camera and make sure you just add in the correct camera and then do the same thing for microphone. Make sure you add the correct microphone. And now it's time to head to the Restream website. Once again, you can sign up with my affiliate link to get some credit and let's stream to TikTok using our stream key and our web browser. And again, you can do this on any device. So I'm going to click on home. Then I'm going to click new stream. We're going to use Restream Studio and I'm going to allow camera and mic access and allow while visiting the site. And you can see we have correctly added both the camera and the microphone. And you can press this drop down list to see what's been added. In actual fact, it's actually added the wrong microphone. It's ignored the Chrome settings. So let me add the correct microphone. And you can click on your drop down to see what camera has been added. And you can also modify the settings of each device. So for example, if I go back to my Logitech Stream Cam, because I'm on the free plan, I'm limited to 720p. So you just choose the highest resolution available. Same thing for your audio. I would highly recommend both echo cancellation and noise suppression. You also probably want to add your headset in for me to my cloud to wireless. And we can basically ignore the advanced options. So we'll close out of that. Make sure you set your name to whatever you want it set to and enter the studio. And in the top left corner, just give your stream a name. So for me, test stream is fine. So we'll press update all. And now let's add in our TikTok stream key. So once you've joined a free to join creator network, AKA agency, they'll unlock the live producer page for you. So you just press go live and don't panic here because you won't actually be live. So you press save and go live to generate your key. And now we copy and paste it into Restream. Again, we're not actually live yet. So back in Restream, we click add channels in the top right corner. Click on add channels again. And it's just the custom RTMP option. And you just copy and paste this stream key into the relevant boxes. And then all you would do is you'll hit go live in the top right hand corner. And you'll be streaming on TikTok from your web browser. Now the custom RTMP option is usually a paid feature. And again, you can use my affiliate link to get some credit, but let's look at a completely free one now. And we're also going to stream from our web browser again. This time we're going to use that inbuilt TikTok integration. So let's press new stream. And once again, we're going to use Restream Studio for method two here. Once the studio is opened again, just give it a name in the top left corner. I'll just call it test stream. Add any other details you want and update. And now let's add in our channel in the top right hand corner. So press add channels, press add channels again. And this time, instead of custom RTMP, we're going to choose TikTok Live. And this is going to pop up Restream's built-in TikTok Live connection. You should just have the ability to add in your TikTok account just with a few clicks. Again, once again, if you can't do this, you'll have to get yourself a stream key. But if they grant you access, just press continue. And you can see my channel has now been successfully added and make sure it is toggled on and then you can just close out of that and you can see in the bottom right corner it's kind of behind me so i'll move out the way we can choose between portrait and landscape mode and when you're ready just hit go live in the top right hand corner and just like that you'll see we are live on tiktok if you find this useful and you want to support my work then you can check out my patreon page i've called it the live success academy we've got over 40 posts with advice designed to help accelerate your growth as a streamer and a content creator. So you can support my work and help accelerate your own growth with my Patreon. I'll put it on screen and in the description. Method three is slightly more complex, but it harnesses the power of OBS. And with this method, we can either use a free stream key or we can use Restream's built-in integration. Let's start with some OBS best practices. Scene collection, new if you want some new scenes. For example, I'll call it Restream Scenes. And profile, new 
I've called it Restream Profile. We're going to show the Auto Config Wizard because this is going to let us add in Restream. We'll optimize it for streaming. We'll set it to 1920 by 1080 and 60 FPS. We can change it to vertical later. And this time, underneath service, we're going to choose Restream.io and click Connect Account. And we just go ahead and log into our Restream account. And of course, we're going to allow any access. Our Restream account is now added. We're not going to estimate the bitrate. We are instead just going to manually set it somewhere between 6,000 and 8,000. I suggest 6,000 to start with. These other settings should be fine. Restream's added them, so press Next. And then press Apply Settings, and we're going to get some pop-ups. So these are Restream's widgets. So we can add them into OBS by simply dragging and placing them wherever we want them. So for example, I might add one of them on the right and then two of them on the left. I'll add them below each other. So now I can set my stream title here. For example, just test stream and click update all titles. I can then choose which channels I go live on. So I've just toggled on TikTok. Of course, you can add other channels. Don't forget my affiliate link will give you credit if you want to add more than two channels and you can read your chat on the right hand side. I'm not actually sure whether they have TikTok added yet. If not, just read your chat from your phone. And then of course, just press start streaming when you're ready to go live. If you are unfamiliar with OBS in general, I'll put a guide in the description. And once again, don't forget you can use my affiliate link if you want to try any paid plans from Restream. Again, you can get a stream key to use with Restream or just with OBS. So I'll put that video on the screen now. And if you're streaming from a PC or Mac, I strongly recommend adding alerts to your live stream to improve the engagement. And I'll put my Techfinity guide on the screen as well.